As the U-2 spy plane prepares to land, a pilot in a high-speed chase car must pursue it, because without this, the landing could go dangerously wrong. Unlike typical jets, the U.S. Air Force's U-2 aircraft operates at altitudes up to 70,000 feet to gather intelligence. What sets it apart is its massive 105-foot wingspan paired with a slender fuselage, allowing it to cruise at high altitudes for extended periods. But there's a catch. Those long, narrow wings can't support standard landing gear. Instead, it uses a bicycle-style gear with only two wheels aligned front to back, making landings extremely difficult. And to make it harder, the pilot wears a full-pressure suit, severely limiting visibility. That's where the chase car comes in, driven by another U-2 pilot who relays critical info like altitude, alignment, and speed via radio. With guidance from the ground, the U-2 pilot can safely force the ultra-efficient aircraft down onto the runway, ensuring the Dragon Lady touches down without incident.